What's up, guys? Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this checkered bucket hat. You'll need two colors for the checkered pattern. I'm using this leftover yarn. This yarn calls for a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. The one I'm making for myself is a size small, but it will fit most of you. My head circumference is 22 inches, just as a reference. I do have a written pattern on this one that's available for purchase. It includes the sizing information, so it'll tell you how to make the top circle bigger or smaller. And if you don't have the same number of rounds here, how the pattern here and here should go, so you don't have to figure everything out all by yourself. I'll put the link in the comment section below. We're going to begin with a magic loop. First, create a big loop then pull another loop through it and chain one. Chain one, then yarn over, insert hook in the ring, pull up a loop. Now we have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. This is a half double crochet. Yarn over again. In this loop, make a second half double crochet. Pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through three. Keep repeating this step. And if you're a beginner, use a stitch marker to mark the first stitch. Do this for the first stitch of every round. So far, we've got three stitches. Go ahead and make five more half double crochets in the ring. Once you have eight half double crochets, pull the short end tight and close the ring. Join to the first stitch with a slip stitch. So take off the stitch marker, insert hook in the first stitch, and make a slip stitch. Round two, chain one. By the way, do this at the beginning of every round as well. So for round two, we're going to increase one stitch in every stitch. In the first stitch, make a half double crochet. In the very same stitch, make one more half double crochet. Don't forget to mark the first stitch. Next stitch, two half double crochets again. Continue working two half double crochets in every stitch and you will have 16 stitches for this round. Join to the first stitch with a slip stitch. Chain one. Round three, we're going to increase in every other stitch. So in the first stitch, make one half double crochet. In the next stitch, increase one stitch by working two half double crochets. Next stitch, one half double. Next, two half double again. Chain one, 
mark the first stitch. Should have done this earlier. So keep repeating this one, two, one, two, all the way around. Join to the first stitch and chain one. The pattern for round four is one, one, two. So one half double crochet in the first stitch, one half double crochet in the next, and two half double crochets in the third stitch. Then repeat that again. One half double, one half double, and two half doubles. You should have 32 stitches for this round. Now let's have a look at the pattern. Round one, we've got eight stitches. Round two, we did two half double crochets in every stitch. We've got 16 stitches. The pattern for round 3 is 1, 2, 1, 2. Round 4 is 1, 1, 2. So the pattern for round 5 is 1, 1, 1, 2. Which means 3 half double crochets, then an increase. The pattern for round 6 is 1, 1, 1, 1, 2. 4 half double crochets, then an increase. So keep following this pattern and I'll see you when you finish round 10. After round 10, the circle measures about eight inches in diameter. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. If you need to do more rounds, just follow the pattern and keep going. But you will have to adjust the pattern here and here if you decide to do more rounds, just so you know. So the next round is the first round in the middle section, which is where the checkered pattern begins. So we're going to continue to work the first five stitches before changing color. One. Two. Three. Four. And on the fifth stitch, yarn over and insert hook. Pull up a loop. Now we've got three loops on hook. To change color, grab the second color yarn and pull through. I know the two colors are really similar, but just bear with me. So from now on, when we're working one color, always carry the other color with us so it's ready whenever we need it. Next, we're going to work five half double crochets in color two. To carry the other color, place the hook below the yarn so it'll be wrapped in the stitch. Go ahead and finish this half double crochet. Continue working the next four stitches like this. And on the fifth stitch, we're going to change back to color one. Work the half double crochet to three loops on hook. And switch to color two, making sure the yarns don't tangle. You could do it like this, doesn't really matter, but the yarns are going to twist together after a few color changes if you do it like that. So pick up color one and finish this stitch. Then we're going to do five half double crochets again using this color. Don't forget to carry color two with you. And work one half double crochet in the next five stitches. So insert hook below the carried yarn, work a half double crochet. And then on the fifth stitch, 
We'll switch back to the other color just like before. Then five half double crochets again in this color. So just keep switching colors like this. Do five half double crochets per switch. Color changing happens on the fifth stitch. And don't forget to always carry the non working yarn. We've got 80 stitches, so when we come around, we should end this round with five half double crochets in color two. Finish the last stitch. We never have to change color here, so finish it as usual. Then insert hook in the first stitch and make a slip stitch. I forgot to carry the other yarn here, but make sure you don't. It should look something like this. Don't need to change color at this slip stitch either because the next stitch is still the same color. So for the next round, we're going to shift the whole pattern one stitch to the left. So these five will move to the left by one stitch. So the first stitch of the next round is still this color. But the next stitch, we're going to change back to color one. So when you have three loops on the hook, switch to the other yarn and finish this half double crochet. Then we're going to follow the same pattern, five half double crochets. Switching color on the fifth. Then five half double crochets in this color again. So you can see now these five stitches are leaning towards the left because we've shifted them one stitch to the left. Continue with this pattern and finish this round. Finish the slip stitch with color two, chain one, and do two half double crochets. Carry the yarn. Change back to color one at the second stitch. Then alternate between these two colors and do five half double crochets each time we switch color just like before. Now, each square of the checkered pattern is made of three rows of five half double crochets. We've done three rows already, so for the next three rows, we will form squares of the opposite color on top of the existing squares. So insert your hook. The first stitch of the next round will be the opposite color, and the slip stitch is where we change color for the next stitch. The first stitch is going to be color one, so I'm going to use color one to finish this slip stitch. Then I'm going to chain one, make three half double crochets in this color, one in each stitch. And I'm switching yarn on the third one. Then you can follow the previous pattern to five half double crochets each time we change color. Join to the first stitch with a slip stitch. 
We don't need to change color here because the next round starts with this color. For this round, we're going to work four half double crochets before the pattern. Switch at the fourth stitch and begin the pattern. Join to the first stitch just like last round. Don't forget to carry the yarn. Begin the pattern from the first stitch. So five half double crochets in this color. Change at the fifth, then keep going. You should end this round with five half double crochets in color two. Now we've got a second round of squares. For the next three rounds, we'll do the opposite color on top again. So color one will go from this stitch two, three, four, and in here, which is gonna be the first stitch of the next round. So insert hook, we need to change color here at the slip stitch. Switch to this color, and slip stitch. One half double crochet in this color. Change at the second one. So I'll skip the next three rounds because we've done this before. This round starts with one half double crochet in color one. Next round starts with two and the next starts with three. And there's no color change at the slip stitch either. After three rounds, join to the first stitch, but work the slip stitch in color two. And for the next three rounds, we're going to do some increase. So work one half double crochet in the first three stitches. In the fourth stitch, work an increase, which is two half double crochets in the same stitch. At the second one, change to color one. So each time we switch yarns, we're going to do an increase at the fifth stitch. So work four half double crochets, one in each stitch, Then in the next stitch, two half double crochets. And change color at the last stitch again, and repeat. Four half double crochets, then an increase. So go ahead and finish this round. The last stitch of this round is in color two. Join to the first stitch. For this round, we're going to begin with two half double crochets in this color, one in each stitch.
then two half double crochets in the next stitch. One in the next. One in the next again. Then two in the next stitch. Changing color at the second one. Then do one, one, two, one, one, two again. So one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Increase in the next stitch. One half double crochet in the next two stitches. And two half double crochets in the next stitch. And change. So continue doing this one one two one one two pattern to finish this round. You should be able to finish the one one two one one two pattern one last time before the slip stitch. Work the slip stitch as usual. Next round is the last increase round. Make one half double crochet in color one. And for this round, each time we switch color, we're going to do one half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches. And in the eighth stitch, make an increase by placing two half double crochets in that stitch. Then you're going to change color again at the last stitch. And then do one half double crochet in each of the next seven stitches, followed by an increase in the next stitch. Keep repeating this. Finish the last seven stitches in color one. Now we're back to the first stitch, but we're supposed to do an increase here. We only have one half double crochet, so we need to make one more in this stitch. Then insert hook in the first stitch and change color here. A slip stitch. Make the first half double crochet. And switch yarn at the second one. From this round, just work one half double crochet in each stitch. Nine half double crochets in this color. Switch yarn and work nine half double crochets again. One in each stitch. The second last round begins with three half double crochets in color two. And then do nine half double crochets in color one to this stitch, then nine again in this color two.
The last round starts with four half double crochets in color two. Then just like the last round, work nine half double crochets each time we change color. Make a slip stitch in the first stitch. Chain one and pull through. Cut the yarn and sew in all the ends. I'll show you a little bit how to weave in the ends here, but when you finish all that, you're done.